it going in Zach? Joe. I'm Tim. I'm Brandon. We are the band Rising Again. So we're hanging here with Unleashed. You know, it's kind of the the results of people wanting to change what they think is wrong, whether it's in you know, their own personal lives or out in the world. Um, and that's why I got into punk rock. I didn't, I didn't really fit in with the, the norm. Factory farmer is something that's so distant from people's sort of uh, mythical idea of what a farm really is. You know, that kind of thing doesn't really exist anymore. Our chickens are something like three times the weight. Um, they're genetically bred to produce more eggs, produce more breast meat, you know, that kind of thing. So it's very mute sort of animals that will never be able to survive in the wild. In a sense, you, if you have 99% of your meat from the factory farm, you're feeding people animals that are sick, you have bred animals that are sick keeping them just barely alive because you wanted a bigger profit margin. We won it. We won it in a wrap. <laughs> it's a big sale actually. It's the first name was the Little Prince of the Prince. Timmy Mac and the Attack. That was going to be fun. That was, was going to be a thing. Right. I mean, no, in all honesty, Jethro Tull was taken. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Who, who would have thought? Who would have thought that? Yeah. Gave us a microphone and said, if you could say anything to the world right now, what would you say? You know? So here we had access to the airwaves. Here we had, we were hijacking the airwaves for three minutes. Somebody, you know, for some reason gave us the right to play something on TV for three minutes. So it was like, well what can we do? We could all, you know, go around and stage some big rock show where we look like we're super famous and we're going around limos or do you know, do something very self-gratifying. Or we could use that three minutes to um, show some of the imagery that changed our lives and you can say so much with just those images yeah we felt like it would be something that would be um that have a lot of impact on the viewers every action is a reaction we've got one planet and one chance in the end the big picture is that you know there are more important things in this world than flavor you know, there, are, there are more important you know, decisions that you should be making about what you're eating you know, animals Suffer and they, they aren't put here just for our, for our benefit. But you know, at some point we were all raised meat eaters too. We made that transition too. You know, so I think I, at the same time I feel like uh, we have a lot in common with people who do eat meat because we were people who ate meat as well. You know? Beaches. Yeah, beaches. Great. Joe crashed a scooter in New Zealand. That makes me nice that. the decision to become vegetarians, especially touring and traveling around, is so much more difficult than it is now. It seems like now there's a soy milk option at every coffee shop. There's a vegetarian sandwich almost everywhere you go. People should know there's, there's a, a veggie alternative for almost every yeah. form of meat. Yeah. Every form of meat. Yeah. Indian, Italian, <laughs> Japanese food, Thai food, Indian food. Going vegetarian is not about eating nuts and berries and grass. There's some really good hearty food you know, out there. You don't have to give that up. Well, yeah, I guess just thanks for all the love. You know, it's been amazing. Every time we come back, it gets better and better. Hey, what's up, Rise Again? You can check out more information about vegetarianism and veganism and animal rights at unleashed.org.au.